Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so today we're gonna, you already know from the title what the subject of hand is, what at hand is. Um, We're gonna talk about Moesha, yay. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. New to my channel, hit that little bell icon button so you get updated videos when I post them. And most important, guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Especially if you've been rocking with me, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. You already rocking with me. You feel me? All right, let's get into this video, guys. All right, so I have um a banana split, and yeah, let's do this. Get some music cracking, some relaxation, because this is my unpopular opinion of Moesha, which is maybe people feel the way I feel, but I'm going to speak on it today. But I'm going to eat some of this ice cream first. Honestly... This banana split is good, but it's it's quite a lot for one person, honestly. I'm eating my bananas out of here, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> oh, I got strawberries in here too, y'all. Couple more bites. I need to do a thumbnail. Let me do that. That'll do it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like the chocolate in here. Next time, I'm going to do strawberry and butterscotch. My cousin told me to try it like that. Trying to get this last little bite together. You know you got to get you a little strawberry on there. Last bite. guys all right after i already didn't waste three minutes or so of your time my teeth is so cold oh my gosh okay guys so my opinion of moesha is i love the show moesha don't get me wrong. Like, I grew up off that show, you feel me? But I feel like that the show was not for kids, personally, not for teenagers. Because, honestly, Moesha did a lot of stuff, and she really never got in trouble for it. 
she got in trouble for it and then the next episode she wasn't in trouble no more everything was all brand new you know what i mean everything was all good so i didn't like that i didn't like the concept of her having so many dudes that she was talking to you know what i mean i understand young you know you mingle whatever the case is but she was doing too much another thing that tripped me out was how she wasn't supposed to let nobody drive her car her daddy said don't let nobody drive this car she let her boyfriend Q drive the car. He ended up getting pulled over. Now, the thing that pissed me off about him driving the car was that, um, my bad, guys, I was really interrupted. Anyways, as I was saying, she he told her that she couldn't drive her own car, but she drove over there. Like, that was dumb to me. So she let him drive. He ended up getting pulled over. And all because she wanted to go to a party, she bailed him out on her daddy's money. But, okay, so that was fucked up, right? But what was even more fucked up was that she had somebody hack her daddy's account. Just so it not to show up as if he wasn't going to know his money was missing. So, to me, that was crazy. Like, how can you have somebody hack your daddy's account? And then that same nigga you had hack your daddy's account, you trying to boo up on him. As if you ain't got a nigga, for starters. And as if... You didn't just hack your daddy shit. <laughs> like, what's going on? So, like, that right there threw me off. I didn't like how she always, like, was meddling in people's business, but didn't want nobody in her business. And I really didn't like how she treated her friends. She was not a good friend at all, if you ask me. Her friendship sucked. Like, I would never want to be friends with her because she was just judgmental. She felt like nobody was better than her. She was the best thing. Uh, I didn't like how she treated Kim. Like, because, because Kim was saying that she was going to college or whatever. And she all like, you know, turning her nose up like, you ain't good enough for a college. But she is. But why would you hang with somebody that ain't good enough for something? If you feel like they're not good enough or they're not smart enough, why would you even be fucking with them in the first place? To me, it was like you had those type of friends to make you look good and you to stand out, you know what I mean, in the crowd. And that's how I took it. I just didn't like her whole everything. Now, I liked it Brandy as a person, you know what I mean, ish. I like some of her music and stuff, but just that character, how they portrayed black people, how they had the black community really soaking in this show as when we was young you know what i mean and i feel like it made it okay for you to sneak out it made it okay for you to disobey your parents and you know different things it made it okay for you to if you 16 or 17 and you're ready to have sex it's your decision because it's your body type situation like i didn't like that whole vibe and i feel like honestly that's probably where a lot of our influences come from when we were younger, like TV sitcoms and music and stuff. It mess with your subconscious and you not even realizing it. And then you acting these things out and you didn't even realize it came from this show or it came from this song. You know what I mean? Because we young and we just having fun and we thinking like this is the life because it's made to be seen like it was the best life to live. It's on TV. You know how it is. I just didn't like how that's portrayed, and now they brought it back out, which is, of course, I watched it because I grew up off of it. I actually liked the show. It's just that now that I'm an adult and I'm actually able to comprehend everything that I was seeing that I wasn't able to comprehend back when I was younger watching it, it just let me know that this world is just really corrupt and is really trying to destroy people um mindsets and starting from younger children on up you feel me and i feel like they brought it back out again just to corrupt the next generation as, as if it's already um not corrupted you know we already have enough things corrupt in this generation of kids because the adults now we getting a chance to sit back and watch all our old stuff or listen to our old music and stuff like that. And now we really get an understanding of things. And it's not cool. And I feel like our parents should never let us watch it. But they did the best that they could. They probably didn't even really sit down and watch the episodes with us. Cause I don't remember my mama always watching every episode of Moesha with us. You feel me? It was something that we sat down and watched. Get out her hair. You know what I mean? So, that's just my unpopular opinion of Moesha. Um, I don't let my kids watch it personally. 
I just feel like they're not ready for the things that's on the show. And I do have a 14 year old. So, you know, he's of the age to watch it. But it's really not kid or a teen appropriate if you ask me personally because it didn't really give any true messages and some episodes gave you here and there where I can be like okay I can take that and I can you know put that into action but more of the things was like more of her being rebellious so it's like you're really not learning anything from the show but to rebel and to do what you want because you're almost grown and you could do this and you could do that da, 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 da. you know what I mean I just feel like it's not for my kids but i like i said i did watch it and i actually enjoyed it like maushu pissed me off every episode <laughs> like but i enjoyed it so if you guys agree with my unpopular opinion let me know in the comment section down below or if you like don't agree with me let me know down in the comment section down below you know because we can agree to disagree you feel me it's all good i still love you still gone you know Fox with you as long as you fucking with me so you guys make sure you guys subscribe once again you guys have a great night